Hi everyone and welcome to our What's New 2018 webinar for RAIL Plus. Um, thank you to everyone for logging in and joining us. So we're just going to have a look at a couple of things that are new with the RAIL Plus with the, both the product and also the RAIL Plus system. So it's just a little bit of an agenda um, of what we're going to go over today. I don't think it's really necessary to look at all of them right now as they do each have their own screen so let's just keep on going. So the first is something really, really exciting that Rail Plus has introduced to our website. It's a really great enhancement and basically what it is is multi-city searching. So when you're looking at the home page, you'll have the option to do one-way return or a multi-city search. Once you click on the multi-city search, you'll be taken to this little screen that we have here. So the multi-city search will enable you to, as it appears, do multi-city searching. This means that you can look your whole itinerary up in one go. You can add and remove journeys over here, um, and then you'll be able to search it in one hit. So this is a, a really exciting update from our end. Not only does it mean that rail is gonna be quicker, more convenient, um, and just generally easier to book, um, but I feel like it also have a bit of a knock-on effect on the way that the calls are coming through the guys in the office. Our turnaround time will be faster. So yeah, it'll enable you to do your whole itinerary in one go. The other thing it will enable you to do is then to go back up to the top, click the little modify button, and then be able to compare with the pass. So the way the city, the searches display is as a three journey search, each one will have its own tab at the top. You've still got your total on the right hand side, so your total journeys individually, and then also the total down the bottom. You'll still be able to select from your different fares, first or second class, different times, different connections, and you'll still be able to do the show all button. So the show all button enables you to be able to see more fare ranges. The system will originally search the cheapest fare only, and then once you've clicked show all, you'll be able to see the next available and then the full fare. So if you are looking at a last seats on a fare, you will be able to give your clients maybe the next price up or a bit of a price range that you can be able to compare um, and then they you know, have a bit of time to think about it. And then if they do miss out on the fare that's the cheapest, they'll be able to know what's gonna be the price jump. So yeah, so the multi-city search is going to enable quick point-to-point multi-city searching, but also very quick pass versus ticket comparisons. Um, with the Thales service, we have a new class. So we now have three classes on the Thales, very similar to the Eurostar. So you have your standard, which is second class, comfort, which is first class, and then premium, which is the one above, which is the new. So essentially the new class is the same seats as comfort, but they get more inclusions. So they get magazines and newspapers, they get a meal served at their seat, taxi reservations on board the train and lounge access. Um, because this class now has the meal, that means that there will be no meal available in the comfort class um, and pass order fares are only available in standard and comfort class. We do currently have a promo for the Thales and this is one of our 12, days, uh, 12 weeks promos. Um, if you book by the 20th of Feb, there's some special fares. Um, these fares need to be travelled before the end of May, and you're looking Paris to Brussels from 69 in Comfort, 140 in Premium, and then Paris to Amsterdam, 105 in Comfort, 157 in Premium. So that is the first class, and then the one above first class, those prices are four. The TGV Lyria also has a similar setup with the three classes, so your economy, your comfort, and your business. And again, limited routes are only available between Paris and into Switzerland. Um, and same thing, dedicated quiet coach, hot meal served at seat. So there'll no longer be a meal served in comfort class, complimentary welcome drink, newspapers and taxi reservations. And then the same with the Thales is that parts order fares are available in economy and comfort class. France, Germany, high speed. So very exciting booking horizon, which is now 180 days. So you will be able to book your France, Germany, high speed trains up to six months in advance. Um, it does not apply to the Thales, which is the Paris to Cologne service. There's also a new direct service between Milan and Frankfurt. So just making it a bit easier, um, but it does go through a different tunnel depending on the direction they're traveling. So departing from Frankfurt to Milan at 8.01, getting into Milan at 3.35, this train travels via the Gothard space tunnel. So that's the newest, most complex tunnel in Europe. And then traveling northbound from Milan to Frankfurt departing at 11.23, this train is going through the Domesodola Brig and the Loschberg tunnel. Um, so if you do have some clients who are interested in engineering, it may be a great option for them to experience either one of those services through the tunnels. 
Berlin to Munich, so we're just increasing the speed here. Um, so hourly IC services available, which will travel between four and a half and five hours, but then there's also six IC sprinters traveling faster, approximately four hours in duration. Um, while the seat reservations are not compulsory, if your clients are looking at I sprinters, we definitely recommend doing it just so they don't miss out because it will be a lot more popular to take an I sprinter over a normal service, considering it's an hour and a half to uh, hour, half an hour quicker. New security and French TGV stations. So if your clients are traveling into a French TGV station, they will just have to show and scan their barcode to get through security gates. This is just a very similar process to what you would see at uh, Flinders Street Station with the MyKey terminals. Once they put in their barcode, the little gates will open and they'll be able to walk through. So just make sure they have their ticket out and they're just maybe leaving an extra five to 10 minutes time to be able to get through security just in case there is a little bit more of a line. We do have one hour check in for groups. So they just have to basically walk around um, to another area of the station and then go through the gates. They used it in October and it took us just a couple of minutes extra and was very, very easy. Amsterdam Central now also has gates, but you can't, you actually have to use your barcode to get into the station. So if the clients have a URL pass, um, they use the barcode on their rail passes. So the barcode's printed on the pass, they again just scan that and that will allow them entry into the station. So a couple of new URL passes. So we have a URL Turkey one country pass, um, a URL Serbia one country pass, but we also have a new Czech and Poland pass. I definitely think that I've been getting a lot more inquiry um, from agents for clients who are going post river cruise and heading north. So they have been heading from either Budapest or Vienna up through the Czech Republic into Poland. So previously you could only use Poland as part of either a global or a German Poland pass. So you will now be able to get a Czech Poland pass and be able to cover that area on a URL post river cruise or even anyone who just wants to explore that area. Um, the pass comes in the standard first and second class adult fares as most of the other two country option does. And we can always issue a ticket from the border. So if your clients are going from Budapest into Prague, we would just do Budapest to the border town of Czech Republic and then they could use their pass onwards from there. So the Glace Express, um, so it now has seasonal seat res pricing. So the fare will still be the same, which means that it's definitely still worth your clients purchasing some kind of pass through Switzerland, um, but the actual seat res cost will have uh, different pricing depending on the time of the year. So we'll get a bit more about the shoulder pricing soon, but you'll have your low season, your shoulder season, and then your high season seat res pricing. The URL pass holder benefits, so just a couple of tweaks on this. So 30% discount on Stina line tickets to and from France, Ireland, Latvia, Norway, Sweden, and Netherlands, and then up to 25% discount on the tourist office in Frankfurt, Porto, and Marseille. Um, just a reminder, you can get the pass benefits either in the guidebook um, when they get their URL pass, or they can also use the URL app to find the bonuses in each country they're traveling to. So we have a change to the Swiss peaks, uh, so rail pass inclusions. So free for pass holder fares are now the Schilthorn and the Stanzerhorn, um, and the Pilatus and Scheinenplatt are no longer free. So Scheinenplatt is on the way up to the top of the Jungfrau, and Mount Pilatus, the cable car up there, there is going to be an additional cost. So that'll be in the full list of Swiss bonuses. Um, so if you did sell a pass last year, just keep in mind that some of the bonuses that they may get have changed. Swiss peaks, so we've got new seasonal pricing. So again, we've got a uh, low shoulder and high season and the peaks of this includes the, Gun uh, the Gornegrat, the Hardeklom, the Jungfrau, the Matterhorn and the Rothorn. Trains to Chesky Krumlov. Um, so there is the GW regional train that travels down into Chesky Krumlov. Uh, for someone on a Ural or a European East Pass, they're no longer accepted, but only on the following departures. So departing from Chesky Kromlov in the morning at 8 a.m. and coming back to Prague at uh, 2 p.m. So I mean definitely can be done in a day. Um, Chesky Kromlov, I think that's enough time. It's a beautiful little city but if you do have people who want to stay overnight or want to stay a little bit longer just keep in mind that their URL pass will only be valid on those times. At other times they would just have to purchase a separate ticket to travel on those trains.
So we do have our new RAL brochure out, our 2018 Your World on Track. Um, this brochure is in TIFFs, so if you guys do want to order it, but we also have on the website um, under News and Media an e-brochure page where you can look at it on the actual website. We do also have a competition running with the new brochure where you just need to flick through and count some trains. I've got another slide on that next. Um, so basically our Great Train Journey brochure generally comes out in around August and then our Your Word on Track comes out now in February. We've still included the map on the inside cover. Um, we've just made it a bit simple to read and easier to understand for clients who are maybe doing rail for the first time. So feel free to jump into TIFFs and order some of those. Um, so we also have all of our promos and incentives constantly displaying on our specials page. So anytime you're thinking there might be just a, you know, checking for rail promos or seeing what's available, just click the specials tab on the top tab bar and you'll be able to see all the different promos that we're running. This is where we'll also display age incentives. So we've got the count the trains and win competition, which you just use the brochure to count some trains and email your answer to the competitions at railplus.com.au email address. Um, we also have more info about the Thalus promo and then we'll have our 12 destinations and 12 amazing deals promos running over the next couple of weeks. So they'll just be constantly popping up with the next promo that's on offer, the next deal, a different destination. So this week we're looking at the Netherlands. Um, if you scroll down, there are more promos available. Um, and we also have downloadable B2C flyers. So if you're thinking that the promo may be great for your clients, you can go in, download a B2C flyer, add your details onto that, and then you'll be able to give that to your clients. So we just have um, anyone who has any questions. Um, so Blaze is just managing the Q&A at the moment, um, but if anyone does have any questions and we think it would be good to uh, for everyone to have that answer, please go feel free to go in and ask anything related to anything at all. Um, we do also have the agent Facebook group, so uh, Rail Plus agents that you can also register to. RailPlus has both our normal Facebook group that we use for general promotions and information and also content that you guys can share onto your own page if you're using that for marketing to your clients. Um, but then we also have our Facebook for agents, which we will be sharing promos and incentives and tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, so we will um, be constantly updating that just to give you extra info and content that we feel may be useful. Um, coming forward, we'll also have a, another multi-city training. So um, Blaze is going to put together a bit of a webinar just to explain how the multi-city search works, how you can use it efficiently um, to do your rail quotes and get uh, the multi-journey information. But we thought doing that today might take a little bit too long. So we're going to do that on a video that you guys can download and access that at any time that you do have a couple of free minutes to look at that. Um, but yeah, this is something that we are really excited about in the office because um, as you would kind of know, some of the rail technology lives a couple of years behind air. So it's great that we do have something which is going to simplify the process, speed things up um, and stuff like that. Will also be available for additional questions. Um, afterwards, obviously feel free to use the Rail Plus for agents or contact your rep, whether it be myself, Nikki, uh, Richard or Larry. Um, but we'll also be doing more trainings, videos, webinars, etc. So if there's something that you think that you need more info about, please let us know. We always like to know obviously what people are asking, what the agents need info about, so our trainings are relevant. Uh, so we just got a couple of questions. Will you still update via email for those not on Facebook? Of course. So we do have our um, weekly EDMs or whenever we've got relevant information being sent out. So just make sure you are subscribed to that. Um, Chesky Crumloth, is there somewhere on your website to remind us of which trains are available for past hold affairs? Um, I'll get Blaze to maybe you have a link to that or maybe put it up somewhere just so it's clear to everyone. Um, we'll also just do a follow out email of all the questions and the answers on there as well. So I'll just get him to add that to that. Um, will passes ever be electronic for last minute bookings when we're not physically get passes in Sydney to passengers? Um, so passes being electronic, 
we've been we have asked this question in the past to URL. Um, and even though there are a lot of countries which do have quite modern systems, so they've got their QR readers or their barcodes that they can actually scan tickets on board, there's also a lot of regional trains that passes are valid on. There's a lot of, uh, you know, Eastern European trains that don't have those sort of electronic um, conductor sort of systems. So don't feel like they will be going electronic anytime soon, just because I feel like it increases the amount of fraud. The passes are printed on special paper with fibres in them. So, you know, they're quite um, on top of the way that the passes look and ensuring that they are valid. Um, so to answer that in, a, I guess, a long or short, um, probably not. But then again, you know, URL may decide halfway through the year that's something they want to do and it's a quick changeover. So I'm going to say now, no. Getting them last minute, of course, I mean, we are in Melbourne. We, um, you know, we do use couriers, so we don't guarantee overnight because they don't. But, you know, that may be a couple day delivery to get to your clients. Um, we can always send it directly to them if they're going to be home to sign for those documentation. Uh, but just with passes, keep in mind that there are some countries like France where seat reservations are not only compulsory, but they are limited. So just make sure if you are selling a pass that your clients know that they're not going to get to Paris and try and book a train to Bordeaux that week because it's probably already been sold out for six weeks in the summer. Um, begin, so show all buttons. So I'm just going to jump back to the screen with the multi-city search. Um, so when you look at the search and it's displayed with the fares, just here you've got earlier and later, and then right below that you've got your search and then show all. So the search is determined by what you choose initially. So here we've got the cheapest, uh, flexible, and then the direct fare. So initially all of our searches are searching for the cheapest just because we feel that's what people want. Um, and then here you've got the search that you selected and then the show all button. So currently it's only showing one price in each class. That show all button, it won't show every fare. It'll give you the cheapest, the next available, and then the full fare that's available. So if you are looking at a fare in its last seats, that means that it's less than 10. So the next price up might be $7 more. It may be $100 more. So just to be able to know whether or not you know you're taking that money from your client, or um, you know if they are being a bit fussy and can't make up their mind, at least you can tell them there's less than ten seats left, and the increase will be a hundred dollars. So um, that way, obviously, creating a bit of urgency to it, but also making sure they are aware that the price may go up a little bit at the same time. Yeah, please. Any other questions? <laughs> So with um, anyone who's new to the rail world, we do have something we call an onboard process, that which um, Blaze has been setting up and it's absolutely fabulous. So basically, um, any novices you've got in the office, any new staff, you can sign them up, send um, us an email with their email address. And every day for five days, they will receive a short introduction into rail. So Day one may just be briefly explaining who Rail Plus is. Day two, um, something else about rail and so on. Then we'll have two minute webinars on how to book a rail pass or how to book a point to point ticket. And then at the end, um, they'll receive a voucher to go towards their future booking. So we just feel like they, um, you know, people, when they're learning a lot of new products, obviously we don't want to send them a 45 minute webinar because it's going to be a lot easier for quick, short information. And then obviously the reps are always there to follow up with training, whether that be over the phone, over a webinar, um, over Skype or in store. We'll also send um, in the email we're going to do after this webinar information on how to sign up to that onboarding training. So you guys can register if you've been in the industry for six months, two months, 20 years, whatever, if you wanted to have a, maybe a bit of a look at that as a bit of a refresh. Um, and then we'll also have our Rail Expert Training Program hopefully launching in March. So that'll be our yearly training program, which we do run. 
Um, so we just had another question, any special price for agents? So we do offer 75% off URL passes for you and your travelling companion, and you just can get one of those per year. So that information is on the top right hand corner on the website when you're logged in, My Rail Plus Tools, and then just click, click on the forms area. So even if you're just doing one or two trains, these passes are 75% off. So you can get a you know three day German rail pass for $80 for the three days. So it's great to look at even if you are just doing one journey. Um, in terms of products like Rocky Mountaineer or any of those great train journey products, um, they're all based on sort of applications. So it's dependent on the availability of the service, how far out you are booking, uh, you know, what's kind of going on with their availability. So if you have any questions about any of that, um, just send an email through to the Great Train Journey Girls. So gtj at railplus.com.au, they'll be able to let you know. But the process for URL passes are pretty quick and easy. Just fill in that form and email it off to the agent discount email that's on the form. Perfect, so we don't have any more questions. Um, so we're just going to finish it up there. Like I said, we will send out an email um, with the details and all of that stuff. Um, so we just got another quick one. So training for novices. So yeah, we'll have that onboarding process. So that'll come out in the email. Uh, and then of course, we've just got our reps that are available for training, in-store training, over the phone, uh, just obviously depending where your location is. So if you, we always have one admin day a week, so we can sit at home and chat to you over the phone and maybe send you an email or do a Skype session or something like we're doing today to kind of go over one-on-one um, -on -one training. And at least that way we can unmute your microphones. <laughs> uh, okay, another question, how do I book for an agent online or over the phone? So the um, so for an agent, for yourself, um, that form has an email address. So you essentially just send that off to the email address and then you can also email them any seat reservations that you want and then they will be able to book those seat, reservi seat reservations in at the same time they're putting together your pass for you. Yeah, otherwise, as booking methods for any time, we've always got phone, email, um, we have live chat for information. So we don't take bookings over live chat, just sort of quick questions. Um, but the phone whole time has been pretty good over the last year, and I definitely think the multi-city search is going to speed up our whole times as well. And we're just going to hang out another minute for questions. So I'd like to just hold on. There seems to be a couple of people mid-typing. But anything that we don't get through here, feel free to keep on sending them through and we can always um, answer those in the follow up. So if you're not sure who um, the contact for the rep in your area is, um, so we've got Larry Burrows, who covers Queensland, Northern New South Wales and Northern Territory. Richard McKissack covers the New South Wales ACT and WA areas. And then myself, Nikki, um, I do Victaz SA. So we're quite a bit thinly spread <laughs> um, in comparison to maybe some of the other companies out there. So that's why we do have that day at home, which we can always, you know, do phone calls and stuff like that. Otherwise, um, I'm sure your areas in our call plan sometime soon. So you'll always get the contact details at the bottom of every EDM of your rep. Um, otherwise, all of our details are on the Contact Us page. So our emails and our phone number. Cool, perfect. So um, we'll just end it there. Like I said, if you want to send through more questions, please do. We will just have a summary answering all the questions, sending through this broadcast so you can maybe watch it again, and then a link through for the onboarding process that you guys can register any novices to receive that training and information. But just make sure that you subscribe to Rail Plus newsletters. If you're not getting them through already over the last week, which we have sent about four, I think, um, just make sure that you haven't blocked us or junked us. If you are thinking that you're still having problems, let us know and we can always subscribe you or check. The Rail Plus Specialist or the, um, yeah, the Rail Expert Program, so we haven't actually had a launch date yet. The guys are working on that, but hopefully in March. And then that'll just be training that'll run probably over a six or a seven week um, period. So 
sending out different modules each week, but you will be able to catch up. So if you have two weeks off, you can come back and do three in one hit. Um, and then that'll just go through all the information that you hopefully need to be able to sell rail. Lovely. Well, thank you everyone for logging on. Hopefully everything went clear on your side. Um, and like I said, any questions, please feel free to follow it up. Thank you.